Welcome back to By Devon. Today I'm making a pretty simple mani using this pointer finger I already had using Quirky Dips Spring Break Freebie and heat it up from Hot Girl Summer Collection and this Nails in a Coffin decal. It's kind of spooky with this tree with books. I loved how it went with the heated up from Quirky. So I'm gonna keep it pretty simple because I want the decal to really kind of pop in this mani. So I'm gonna do two layers of heated up. I'm not gonna do anything fancy, you no know, color blocking or moving around of glitters. I know, I know. It's usually my staple is a little bit of a color block, but I needed a little bit of a palette cleanse and I thought this was a fun way to do it, especially because I was able to reuse this pointer finger from a different set I had done a few weeks ago. I am gonna use my Yeti Illumination Powder that I just got from Thunder Thunderbird Lanes. It is a glow powder and I am so excited to start using it under my decals. It has a white color. I'm looking forward to stamping and decals over it. I think it's gonna be really fun. So I just go in for my second layer here. I brushed off all of any of the extra heated up so that I wouldn't contaminate my base brush. And this color is just going on so smooth. It's full, um, it's not a bright yellow, but it has um, kind of like an orangish undertone. I really like this color a lot. I think it could look really great for fall also. And with the decal, I just thought it paired so well. So I did decide to do a second layer of Yeti, not so much for color, but to keep my tip a little bit um, thicker so it was not quite as flexible. I don't want it to be able to bend because then the top coat that I put on, which is not a dip liquid, might crack and I want to avoid that. Um, I've been avoiding gel even though I did try it the other day and I didn't have a reaction. So gel might be back in my future, but because I avoid gel, I just use an OPI regular nail polish top coat for my decals because I don't have the activator to harden the top coat. So a quick little buff here. I've gotten just a little bit of that powder underneath my tips so I wanted to make sure they were nice and smooth and got that buffed off underneath and I wanted to make sure that Yeti was nice and smooth for my decal. You can see here that I know it's sped up, but I barely had to buff it all. They were super smooth, and I did decide not to put um, a clear layer on them either, which I normally do also. So I'm gonna try my decal. Remember this little dish, um, the tweezers, the see-through stamper, buffing blocks, lint-free wipes, they all come with that decal starter pack. So I had everything I needed and it's so fun so if you haven't tried decals i was definitely intimidated but it is not that hard 15 to 30 seconds 15 has been working great for me so i really appreciated that tip i put it on top of my double stamper and then just kind of slide gently the paper off so today i accidentally activated before i put on my decal so i use that as motivation to try a different method I'd been using my dip base and it had been working really well, but today you can see I used that Maniology um, sticky base coat. So I like to line up the side to make sure it goes all the way across and then roll over kind of using that rolling motion and the stamper to get it where I want. The great thing about this Maniology sticky base was that I did have more time to fiddle with my decal and get it into just the right spot. And you can see I kind of push my finger in the middle and then roll it and press it out to the sides to get out any of those wrinkles. And then I just use my scissors and cut off the excess. A little bit easier to do here on tips than if I had been doing it on my natural nails. And I use my activator around the edges to help fold under and kind of melt just a little bit the decal so it's easier to press it under. And then sometimes if I need to, but I didn't here, I go in 
with a file to kind of file down the sides. So then I put activator over the top just a little bit. I wasn't going to because I hadn't used base coat, but then I forgot. <laughs> so then I'm gonna go in and um, wipe these down with alcohol and do my top coat after I do a second coat of activator you saw it there wiping them down with alcohol to get off any residue and then I cleaned up my workspace I know today is just a day of new things trying that sticky base actually cleaning while I work so it's not such a powdery mess and here we go with the top coat get that bead on the end one two three quick swipes on the first one and then I go in a little bit more precisely with that second layer. I don't wait for the first layer of top coat to dry. I haven't found a problem with that method. Here's my OPI matte top coat. I'm gonna put that on the decal. So I love these details and I don't want the glare to kind of overpower them. I love how these turned out, the kind of spooky decal with those glitters and the heated up was the perfect color. Thank you so much for stopping by. This has been by Devin. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.